Hello there, I'm Tim Spector of the Zoe COVID study and I want to talk to you briefly about one of the rare things we've picked up on the app, a side effect of vaccines that over a million of you have been reporting to us. And this is all about metallic taste in the mouth or uh, small bleeding at the site of the vaccination. It doesn't concern most of you, it's actually quite rare. But if you do, you'd be interested to find out what it means. Now, there have been various reports of metallic taste or bleeding at the site of vaccines for many years, even before COVID, as a general uh, phenomenon of people having all types of injections into, into muscles. And uh, my friend, Dr. John Campbell, has been talking about this as a potential um, idea that there might be a link somewhere between those rare people who report getting an instant metallic taste just after having an injection and some long-term side effects because they might be getting greater amounts of the, of the drug into their blood vessels or something else. And also, similarly, people who might bleed more at the site possibly uh, might have had uh, a small puncture of a blood vessel which might have uh, had a different dose of vaccine associated with it. All these are totally unknown. There's no real data on it. No one until now has looked at it properly. It's all anecdotal and that's just what makes your data so valuable. So um, I spoke to uh, John Campbell and we, we said let's, let's do this study and um, find out the results but don't tell people uh, any hypothesis beforehand until we had some data. So what I can share with you at the moment is that 5,195 of you reported metallic taste and that's out of lots of you having uh, vaccinations and that ended up as about 3.6% of you uh, and a smaller 0.9% reported having some small bleeding at the site of the injection just after it. Now, I have absolutely no evidence that either of those are of any concern at all. Uh, and it is just uh, our wish to have a look at it because it has been mentioned on social media. So what we found is 7.6% of people reporting bleeding had also reported metallic taste. So the first thing said, well, are they uh, connected? Um, and the opposite was that 1.9% of people reporting metallic taste also reported bleeding. When we looked in detail, yes, we could find a very weak correlation because we've got such big numbers, but I think uh, it was too small really to be clinically relevant and probably just a an artifact of reporting bias. So they're best treated separately. And what we found is 85% of people reporting at least one local side effect and metallic taste, that's like a, a bruised arm or itchiness, reported at least having one systemic side effect, that's things like fever or uh, severe fatigue after the injection. Uh, and that seems high, but when we compared it to the occurrence of any systemic side effect, just if you had pain in the arm, it, that was already 81%. So no strong association there. But 15% of those reporting at least one local side effect and metallic taste reported having five or more distinct systemic side effects uh, in the week after vaccination. And that was higher than the 5.8% who didn't have uh, metallic taste. So there does seem to be uh, a large difference there um, in those that are reporting something soon after the injection and some long-term effect. Uh, but let's put this in context. So this large difference um, is, uh, in those, is the same as those reporting a local pain in the arm. So 2.8% of those uh, who didn't have pain uh, reported five or more systemic side effects, whereas 8.2% of those who had pain reported five. So we're getting a similar order of magnitude risk 
uh, with any local side effect and future uh, systemic side effects. So this uh, it, it really means that the metallic taste is comparable to having a, a tender or painful arm, which uh, l most people, including myself, had. And I think it means uh, we don't uh, have to worry about it in terms of uh, any, of the, any of the major side effects. And women, interesting, were, were about twice as likely to uh, have report metallic taste as, as men. We've got no clue why that might be. Now, if we look at the graph, we can see the median age of those reporting metallic taste is 51 years old, which uh, is exactly the same for those not reporting it, which is in itself uh, quite interesting. So it's not an age phenomenon, uh, and it might therefore just be uh, random. And if we look at uh, males and females, interestingly, we see it's about twice as common in females as opposed to males. And if you remember a lot of the rare side effects of vaccines are actually commoner in males rather than females. So again, uh, that's reassuring if you're male at least, um, but I don't think anything to worry about. So sort of summarize where we are here, I think um, only three in a hundred people might have metallic taste. Of those people, 85% reporting it never develop any of the um, multiple systemic side effects that happen after vaccines in a few people like the fevers and sweats and fatigue uh, and rashes etc so 85 percent don't um, and there's that's really good news because that uh, is seen as a potential sign of an exaggerated immune response and can be uh, thought of as a possible risk factor for these for these rare side effects. Very speculative, but in general, most people with uh, metallic taste don't seem to be at any uh, increased risk at all. Now, uh, I just want to share this um, raw uh, odds ratio correlation matrix, which just shows how the symptoms you reported sort of link to each other in a in a, in a rather crude way. So if metallic taste was popping up as really being linked to something severe, like it indicated uh, a big immune reaction with fevers or uh, unusual joint pains or, or chills or skin rashes or whatever, we'd see it. And if you look at the plot here, you can see there are a few of these strong correlations that you can see in the purple here, uh, but generally they are um, between things that are related. So uh, itching and redness might go together, um, muscle, muscle pains uh, would go together, you might get nausea and diarrhea uh, clustering together, um, swelling and redness tend to go together. But if you look at the column uh, from metallic taste, you can see that there are a few weak correlations of between uh, one and two, but nothing uh, that would suggest there's anything causal going on. Now, all this is very reassuring. Um, and uh, I think if you were unfortunate after a funny metallic taste in your mouth, we still don't know re really why you get that, whether it's just uh, uh, idiosyncratic to you because of your genes or it's something else that happened. Um, but it's no worse than having a sore arm, which most of us, including myself, uh, had. We'll be looking at more detail at very, very rare side effects. But that's going to take us a while longer, uh, but won't affect any anyone really, uh, the majority of people uh, that we're talking about. So that's good news if you're worried about that. Uh, but we'll uh, keep digging away uh, with this unique data set because I said no one's ever looked at this before and I think it was uh, a fascinating I idea uh, of John Camel to, to look at. Um, so do keep logging all these amazing symptoms, all your tests, etc. We want to record every single COVID test you give us. And please remember to like and subscribe our channel, share the app 
and keep an eye on our website uh, and app for other app updates and stay safe and keep logging.